Welcome. Today, we're going to take a look at the idea of the construction of dilation with a negative scale factor. Let's understand what we want to do here. We want to get triangle BCD and we want to dilate it with a scale factor of negative 2 over point A. This is a typo, so let's change it. Point A. The first thing that we want to do, we want to create our points of trajectory. Let's create lines from the vertex towards the point of dilation. Let's create a line from D towards A. And let's do the same for point C. Let's create a line from C towards A. And let's create another line from B towards A. Let's understand the direction of a negative scale factor. If my scale factor is of a negative value, we are moving from the point towards the point of dilation. So B is going to get projected towards this direction, D is going to get projected towards this direction, and C is going to get projected towards this direction. Let's start with point B. Let's place our metal leg at point B, and let's find the original distance from D to the point of dilation, which is A. So now let's double that distance starting from A. So from A, this is one distance, and here we have two distances. Then it is at this location where we're going to find B prime. It is at this location where B got dilated from point A in a negative direction with a scale factor of 2, aka with a negative scale factor of negative 2. Let's do the same from C. Let's place my metal leg on C and find the original distance towards A. Now that we have that distance, let's double it starting from A. So this is one distance. So this is two distances. Let me enlarge this line. Then it is at this location where we're going to find C prime. It is at this location where C got dilated from point A with a scale factor of 2 in a negative direction. Let's do the same for D. And it's at this location where we're going to find D prime. Now let's create our new triangle. Now this new triangle that we have here, it is the result of dilating triangle BCD over A with the scale factor of negative two. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.